Hello friends and welcome. Are you traveling soon and wanting to know what makeup to take with you, what works in order to make you look polished in five minutes while you're overseas, but also not overpack and take everything but the kitchen sink with you? Then I've got you covered. I've just returned for a 14 day trip in the US, staying in seven different hotels, story to that coming up wait till the end where you get to hear what was involved with that uh, but i took everything that i needed with me in this little makeup toiletry case that i bought from kmart on a whim just before i left this is the foldable toiletry organizer with hook and it was only eight dollars from kmart I took everything that I needed with me, skincare, makeup, and hair products that I needed for my 14 day trip in this little portable case. And this together with everything that was in it was a godsend in making sure that I was able to look polished and put together in five minutes flat every day, regardless of where I was staying and what I had on for the day. And I thought that before putting everything away and setting it up for my day-to-day -day life, I would show you what I brought with me, what worked, what didn't work, or what I would do differently next time. And I hope that this might be helpful to you. Then stick around. But first, can I just spend a couple of seconds telling you about this case? Not sponsored from Kmart. I bought it from a whim. It was only $8. As mentioned, it's a foldable toiletry organizer with hook. The beauty of this is that it folds outward. I attached it to the shower rail in every hotel that I stayed in. And if the hotel didn't have a shower rail because they actually had the glass opening shower instead of a shower curtain, then this attached to the rear of the door where they normally have hooks for your towels, for your robes, your clothes. This was perfect. I held everything that I needed in here. It has three compartments with zippers. The first one was where I stored my brushes and my perfume and my sponge, but you can also store it in this little section here. I had my comb, I had my perfume, I had my brushes and eye makeup and pencils in here. And then in the third compartment, I had pretty much everything else. Let me take everything out and talk you through what I took with me, how it worked, and if it didn't work, what I'm gonna replace it with next time. So obviously you know that when you're traveling, you wanna cut back on everything that you take with you, including your skincare products. So I cut it right back to pretty much, let me pick this up, okay. So I took with me five products when it came to skincare. And for you, this might be too much, but for me, this is the bare minimum that I took with me. I started off with a super serum from Olay. This is the Niacinamide Honey Peptide Super Serum. Luminous, I love this. I especially like to buy all products that add luminosity to my skin. As you know, as you age, your skin starts looking a little bit flat and dull. Every little bit helps. And this has hyaluronic acid and a number of all different peptides, which make it really good for your skin. It is a pump action. So lift it up and you squeeze out with an eyedropper. You set it back and the pump recedes in. It is made of glass, so it's a little bit heavy, but because of all the good nutrients it had in it, I was happy to forego the weight for the product that I was taking with me. It is a lovely lightweight serum that just seeps in and is absorbed by my skin, and I absolutely love that you can see that there's nothing left on the skin. Absolutely perfect, love this as a base. I then found that I wasn't putting any eye cream with me, but luckily I had brought some with me because what I'm trying to say is that what I found was that the area around my eyes, when you're tired and dehydrated, because obviously we weren't stopping in many places to be able to drink, especially when you're on a plane as well, and it was a long flight, we went to Melbourne, uh, San Francisco, San Francisco, well, originally we were supposed to go Melbourne, San Francisco, San Francisco, New York. We had a slight problem, more about that later. I had this in my bag on board and I found it really helpful. It's the Swiss Skincare Argan Revitalizing Eye Cream with Caffeine and Guarana Seed Extract. This was really good. It applied really easily to obviously the under eye area and it seeped in beautifully in the skin and it gave the under eye area, which as you know, as you get a little bit older, it starts looking crepey. 
this I really helped with that and I found that it helped again the against that crepiness caused under the eyes from dehydration and from lack of moisture and just running around a lot all day I loved that that was the second product that I put on and this is the banging body uh but firming lotion for face and body this is a two-in-one you can use this on your body and you can use it on your face I use it on my face and also on my arms and my knees and elbows as needed I find that it's got a beautiful scent got in the ballot box video a few months ago and only just started using it just before I went overseas and has a beautiful scent if scents are important to you then you're going to love this it went on beautifully on the skin it sank in beautifully and worked really well under the makeup that I was using it includes tropical fruit oils and Australian sourced ingredients to help firm smooth and hydrate the skin it's rich in shea butter pineapple oil and our Byron Bay green coffee bean extract obviously that's what i'm smelling the pineapple anyway you put it on your face sips in it's hydrating and also beautifully illuminating i found absolutely lovely worked really well under any makeup that i was using had no problem with it and it was a two-in-one product that traveled really well at night i would use the niacinamide honey peptide from olay the revitalizing eye cream and then that night Another product that came to me in the Bella box was this a bit hippie anti-irritation and night cream. This traveled again really well and was divine to use. And it has red algae, low molecular particles for deeper skin penetration, hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, and marshmallow root extract to intensely hydrate and give your skin a vitamin boost. Just a touch of lactic acid will help to buff and brighten your skin. Wake up feeling restored with skin that feels plump and velvety soft. Don't know about that, but I did find that my skin did feel hydrated. It was easy to apply, beautiful to use, lovely scent, and it did the job of keeping my skin hydrated at night. And during the day, of course, I always applied my sunscreen. This is a new to me product. I absolutely love it. It's from Prime Promedics. Prime Skin Protects Sunscreen with an SPF 40. It is a gel-like consistency that glides on beautifully on the skin. It doesn't leave you that white cast. It sinks in beautifully on the skin and is very easy to apply, very easy to use, and works beautifully under your makeup. Love, love, love this product. I'm going to be rebuying this. Very, very easy to use. Beautiful for your skin. Beautiful as a sunscreen. As you can see, no cast, no glow, but also not mattifying. It's just perfect. It just adds a beautiful layer, I found, to my skin just underneath my makeup. Now, if you recall, in a five-minute Get Ready With Me video, I was at one point using or finishing off the CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless Foundation with a hint or a drop of the iconic London Illuminator to give me the right coverage on my face, but also to give me a lovely illumination. Well, I replaced these two products. Well, this one finished anyway, so that's in my trash now. But I replaced these two products with this, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfecta 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. I started using this pretty much as just a few days before I was leaving, just to make sure that it would do the job and that I would like it when I was traveling. And I've used a fair bit of it, as you can see. So I do go through it quite a lot. It's got a lovely um, makeup sponge applicator that you just twist and the makeup squeezes through. You apply it to your face. And then what I was doing, I was just dabbing off any excess over the skin with my makeup brush. Excuse me, I've just used it this morning, so it's a little bit dirty, but this was perfect. It's a four-in-one glow makeup because it has a primer, concealer, illuminator, and a BB cream all in one. So it's a super product, especially when you're traveling, that does a lot in one simple carry compartment. But I did go through a fair bit of this, but it did save me on taking two products instead of the one. This is really good. And I bought it in the color 1.5 light medium, which is, I found, perfect for me. I didn't require any extra bronzing except in the areas that I wanted, but it was perfect. Can't talk about this high enough. I will be rebuying this and getting rid of a lot of my other stuff along the way. Another thing that I took with me is my Physician's Formula a Bronzing Stick. This is awesome. I would apply this on the sides of my cheeks, up 
at the top of my forehead, on my jawline, my nose, and just a little bit underneath my lip. I'll show you a video that I did using this product uh, recently. I'll attach it up here and down below, and I'll actually I'll tag it to the end of the video if in case you haven't seen it. I found this worked really well for me and blended out beautifully. I also brought with me the Prime Wand Pigment Stick in number 01. This was really good to apply to the top of my cheeks and then blend it in with a sponge. You could also blend it in with your fingers. Works beautifully. And also it's a two-in-one, really three-in-one, because I also applied it after my lip liner to my lips to use as a bit of a lip gloss, a lip moisturizer, a little bit of lip color. Worked beautifully. These two together were fabulous. Going on to the pencils, all I brought with me was my little stubby, I think this is the Avon. I don't know. It's all finished. I can't even tell what the brand was, but it was a little neutral lip pencil just to lip to line my lips and my Morphe All Night Color Eyeliner just to highlight just the top end of my eyelids. Just to give a little bit of definition to my eyes, I brought with me the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder, only because I'm finishing this off. Traveled well, worked fine, had no problem with it. I also brought with me my NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This is really good. I think that it's probably a little bit too dark for this area, but it works fine. I'm wearing it today. I've basically been using all this makeup for a good month apart for the foundation just before I was leaving, just so that I knew what was going to work for me and that would travel well for me and also paring it down so that I wasn't overpacking. This works well, I like it. And I like the fact that you can see how much you've got left inside before you need to rebuy it. And I bought this in light. Setting spray, I brought with me the OXX Hydrate Setting Spray from Kama. This was good. It's a good, cheap, affordable product to use. I didn't like the way it sprayed. It just sprays really, I'm not sure whether it's going to come through because I finished, I've almost finished it. The particles are quite heavy. And when it falls on the face, it just feels like you're getting drenched with water, unlike, or drenched with a liquid setting spray, unlike the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray, which gives you a very fine spray which is just divine you don't get these globs of moisture of this water on your face that can move your makeup around anyway um i finished this i'll probably go back to using my morphe a luminous setting spray i prefer the application of this over the application of this and almost there i brought with me the nudes palette oxx from kmart the reason why I brought with this with me is because I've been using it in Melbourne day to day. And of course, when you're at home, you tend to be able to touch up your makeup and not realize that you're touching it up and fixing it and maybe just adding bits and pieces here and there along the way. So I wanted to see how it would travel. So I took this with me. The colors are beautiful when you look at it on the screen. However, when I was using it while traveling, I find that A, the product didn't last long. By the end of the day, it had pretty much worn off my eyelid, no matter whether I was play, applying a primer or not, or a setting spray or not. By the way, I also use this. I'll talk about this shortly. So I took this with me. The colors look beautiful on the palette. However, there's nothing really in between a natural color and a more dark color and even though when using this i think i showed you this because i did a came up oxx makeup video which i'll link down below in case you've missed it you can see that it is quite powdery and when you tap it you see the powder and even after i've done that and buffed it off in a tissue just to get the excess when i went to apply it it did tend to be a little bit muddy and not easy to blend with. So even though it does look like a really lovely palette with beautiful colors, I didn't find it A, long lasting, B, very user-friendly because it did become blotchy 
uh, regardless of whether I was using a primer and a setting spray or not. And also the colors, there was nothing in between the very light and the next dark color on the palette to be able to blend that out and just give me a light diffused look rather than a more than a more done up look which is not what I was going for but anyway great very affordable but this is probably going to be this is probably going to go in my trash pile this month and it's going to be replaced by my old favorite a standby mac which if you look at it this is very old I don't even know whether they still have it but if you look at it you sort of think that they're very similar but the MAC just has a lot more colors that suit me when I'm trying to go from light to dark along the way. This works better for my skin tones. So next time I travel, I'll be taking this with me rather than the Kmart version. Right, going back to the primer, I ended up taking with me the Maybelline uh, New York Face Studio Primer, hydrating primer with hyaluronic acid, it did the job. It was quite hydrating. It was almost like applying a bit of a bit of um, moisturizer on top of my moisturizer, on top of my sunscreen. I did go multiple layers of hydration just because when you're traveling, um, you fi I find that my skin goes really dry. And this went in beautifully. My makeup applied, the makeup that I was using applied beautifully over it. It didn't break it up. It worked well. It did the job that it needed to do. And I said, I finished it off with the setting spray. Okay, what's next? Yes, I've talked about the pencils. What did I take with me? I then took with me, and I didn't really need to take this with because this with me, it's the Dua Gel by OXX came up. Perfect. It has, you can see it's well, well used. This side here is the eyebrow gel. It's a clear gel. And on this side, it's the mascara or eyelash gel. Um, I use the brow gel more than I use the eyelash gel. But anyway, a trick that I found that worked really well for me traveling this time was just before I left, I got my eyebrows threaded, which just means that they get shaped. And then I also got them tinted, which meant that I didn't need to take with me a colored gel all i did with this was bring this and it's just very easy to use you just comb it through your eyebrow hairs and it just keeps it in place easily i have to replenish this but as my eyebrows are growing back nice and gray there's a few one there i'll have to go back to using this from Kmart, which is an old standby as well, that I absolutely love. And then for mascara, I brought with me the Scandalous Eyes, Reloaded by Maybelline. This was good. I found that it gave me a nice natural look. For me, this is natural. And, and this is the mascara that I've been using to create this look. But I found that it required a fair few applications in order to get this look. I like my lashes to not go bam, but because they're quite fair, I need them coated in order to be noticeable. So I found that this required a few goes, whereas the other mascara that I was using prior, uh, which I have finished, and I need to repurchase a was a little bit better than this. So I let me see what else I brought with me. A small can of hairspray just to keep my hairs in place. This is really good. And my trusty fan to dry the setting spray when I'm done. And my comb. And my perfume. I just brought a simple little perfume that I had. The SJP NYC perfume. It's just a roll on, easy to apply where you need it. Perfect. And I also brought uh, two, four, two, four, six, seven brushes with me. A big bronzer powder brush for all over the face. More of a liner brush so that I could use it uh, to define the area underneath my eyes and just apply a little bit of eyeshadow in here to create a little bit of definition before I applied mascara. I brought a blending brush to apply my concealer in the tricky to reach areas. A blending brush to blend out all the eyeshadow. A defined brush just to apply a little bit of 
illuminating eyeshadow to the corners of my inner eyes just to wake me up and make me look a little bit more alert. And then another little brush just to apply all the eyeshadow to the eyelid. And that is it. That is all that I brought with me in order to apply makeup, the bare minimum that I needed to look polished and put together while traveling overseas. Now, if that's what you came for, great, you can log out. But otherwise, let me spend a couple of minutes with you sharing a little bit of the story of why we stay in seven different hotels. So originally, my husband was going to go on his own on this trip. He celebrated his 50th birthday during the pandemic in 2020, and he could not travel for his birthday. His bucket wish trip was to go to Corvettes of Carlisle. My husband loves his cars, and his dream is to one day own a Corvette. So he thought that if he could go to Corvette of Carlisle, he'd be able to source exactly what he wanted and perhaps find the ideal car. No, he didn't, wouldn't come back with a new car. However, he did end up going to Corvette of Carlisle on this trip. So originally he was gonna go by himself on this trip. And in the end, he convinced me to take along with him. But at the time he'd booked a couple of hotels on his own just by looking at the average scores of the hotel rating, which he took to be, you know, he only stayed in places that were above seven with a minimum of two star rating. Well, we went to COVID of Carlo and we were staying in this hotel. I'll insert a footage of the entrance to the hotel that we were staying in at Carlisle. It didn't look very promising driving up the driveway. It was just off the freeway. And as we're driving up, it looks a little bit derelict and run down. But we thought we'd give the benefit of the doubt, check in and get taken to our non-smoking reserved room. When we go in, we were a little bit tired. And I said to Kevin, look, I'm just going to go and wash my hands. So I went to the bathroom and opened, turned on the tap and washed my hands. And as I'm washing my hands, I'm getting this splatter of water on my legs. And I thought, well, that's strange. So I looked down and the sink was dry, was dripping underneath quite profusely. So I put a towel down, closed the tap. I said, Kev, you'll have to go and tell reception that they might need to send someone over to be able to fix the tap. And I thought, okay, I'm going to go and lie down a little bit, just take 15, 20 minutes just to relax. We've been driving for a number of hours uh, to get there. And I was a little bit tired. So I lift the doona or the top sheet of the bed and I found something they really don't want to find in a hotel bed. I found someone else's personal hair. So let's just leave it at that. Not your long hair, other body part hair. And ooh, I said to Kevin, oh, I don't think they changed the sheets on this bed. When you go to reception telling them about the tap, can you tell them that they need to come and change the sheets on this bed? I think they might have gone a little bit lazy and just pulled it all up and fluffed it up. It looked like it was fresh. When you opened it up, it wasn't fresh. So no problem. 10 minutes later, they came back, tried to fix the tap, couldn't fix it. So the maintenance person said the message on his phone and then he translate and it basically translated to Kevin saying that, hey, I can't fix it today, but I'll get maintenance to come and fix it for you tomorrow. In the meantime, the room service people had come in and changed the sheets that removed all the old bed linen including the doona the pillowcases all the pillows and refreshed it with fresh newly cleaned linen bed linen and i thought okay finally it's all settled down oh and and while they were there kevin also pointed out the ash on the window ledge in a presumably non-smoking room so they came, they cleaned it all up, changed all the sheets. Once they left, I lifted a sheet to jump into bed and just relax for a few minutes. And this is what we found on the sheets. Freshly washed sheets, mind you. So that was the final straw. Kevin decided to go to reception. He told me, just pack your bags again. We're just going to go find somewhere else to stay. We're not staying here for three nights. This is not acceptable. So we went to reception. They were fine enough to refund us our money and let us go. So we spent the next few hours looking for another hotel, something a little bit further out, where we basically went through every review in the review uh, section of the hotels just to find exactly what they said. And to let me tell you, that hotel that we'd originally booked at 
The reason they had a 7.2, 7.4 average was because many reviews were 10 out of 10. Amazing. Now, I don't know who in their right mind would find that hotel amazing. After what I've shown you and what I've told you, I don't know what they were using that hotel for. We eventually booked somewhere else. And when we told the receptionist um, that that's where we were coming from, she said, aha, uh -huh. That hotel is where the locals go when they need an hour or so uh, access to a room. So we understood why. Uh, perhaps the reviews were amazing. Who knows? So long story short, make sure that you don't just look at the average total of the reviews. Go in and read through all the reviews. We started reading all the reviews that said one, two, three, four, and just ignoring everything that said amazing. I don't think I've ever been to a hotel uh, where it's two stars and everything is amazing. So I hope you found this video useful, entertaining, and got some value out of it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content that I upload. Until next time, my friends, I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye.